The 1980s was a decade of mass unemployment, football violence, a government that liked to portray itself as tough and crack down on everybody and everything. It was a decade of business failures and lots and lots of empty warehouses. My motivation was to fucking make it happen, make sure it happened all night long, make sure it happened free or as cheap as possible. If it was anything, we would have done anything for it to happen. I remember one situation where I was handed a piece of wire, okay, strip this, put it into our block, start your stopwatch, you've got five minutes because there's someone on the other end who's going to find a PowerPoint and plug it on the mains, which is sometimes a lamp post or something like that, you've got five minutes to plug this in because then you're going to have live current on that end. If you're well, too I'll slow, plug. you get surprised. <laughs> <laughs> when there were certain weighted people actually in the warehouse or on the property, that was it. The police must have had a mandate to say, listen, leave it, just let it happen at that point, and uh, they did. Oh, Where's the revolution? Here. Yeah. It started off maybe 50 people. Six months down the line, there's 5,000. Nine months down the line, there's 10,000. But you could still tell if something was missing. For people inside, for people involved in the parties, they were something beautiful. You know, they were something special. But on the outside, it was not seen like that at all. They were viewed with a mixture of uh, incomprehension and fear. They were like us in a sense, they had never seen anything like this before in their life, ever. So as much as we were enjoyed with it, they were probably pained with it in equal measures, you know. As, as much as we thought it was like the future, the hope, the dreams, they thought, it's fucking judgement day. MPs spent most of Friday delving into the murky world of acid house parties. The Home Office Minister said the bill would help deal with the evil and corrupt men who preyed on young people. Mixed races getting together, I'm not fighting. That is a problem. Drugs, what, do are better, what do you fear? What do you fear to let go? What do you take instead of alcohol? What do you take? I don't need anything. Look, look at what you say. I'm high on hope. I'm high on hope. I don't need anything. That was a revolution. People started realising it. I don't need to be stuck in a fucking hundred pound a month job, you know, so as I can afford one night a week. It's happening here, and I'm going to be part of it. The government is giving the police new powers to break up rave parties. The Home Office Minister said the measures were needed to protect communities from what he called appalling invasions. We got to a stage where we had problems getting systems to put in the raves because they were pressuring the hire companies at that point in time and threatening them, saying basically if we find your equipment in any of these things, you're not going to get it back in one piece. We had one or two situations, didn't we, like buying speakers in Darwin. Mm. And the guy was extremely suspicious and he'd been approached by police as to who he was selling him to. He'd want to write receipts out and he'd want a name and blah 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 and we, can, and we said, oh no, we don't want a receipt, it doesn't matter. He didn't really want to sell us it because he, he thought he would get into trouble. Good afternoon. More than 800 people were arrested last night when police broke up an acid house party at a warehouse near Leeds. Three policemen were slightly injured. That's heart wrenching it was because it was everything you believed in, everything you dreamed of. It was your whole life, you consumed your whole life waking and sleeping and hallucinogenic dreaming, everything. But then suddenly, boom, 